if I want to spend my own money on that, I'm like, <laughs> no. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we are going to be talking about products I should not have bought but I didn't because these just did not work out for me. I've got quite a PR uh, being in this industry for several years now and this is my kind of PR wrap-up reviews of some products that I have been trying recently that I'm so glad that I did not spend my own money on these because they just did not work out for me for one reason or another. Some I just don't really like the products, some I just don't think they work for my preferences and some I'm just like these are good but again if I would have spent my own hard-earned money on them I don't think we would have become besties. You know what I'm saying? So again, just a PR wrap-up review video. I hope that you enjoy this style and I'll jump into it I will link everything down below because maybe something that I'm saying like I don't like this product for this reason You're like wait, I would love it for that reason do you? So I will link it all down below. I did also finish filming this get ready with me. I think it's going to be the next video that's coming up. I am heading off to a vacation shortly. So I'm just trying to do a bunch of filming so I have videos going up consistently while I am in Barbados next week. I am so excited about that, but this makeup look will be coming soon and I will have everything linked in my description box as always. Where should we start? Maybe I'll start with a, I only have one skincare product in here today. Yeah, just one skincare product in here. I haven't really been changing my skincare up all that much recently. I am on the Glow Recipe uh, PR list, so I do get quite a bit of PR from them, but sometimes I think because their products are so scented, it could be a reason why maybe they don't work out the best for me, but they recently came out with the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. Love the bottle, like love the cute packaging. I don't know if you can tell, I'm about right here with how much product is left. So I, I was using this quite a bit. I wanted to use it on a consistent basis. It's $38. It says a concentrated essence toner formulated with cloudberry, a super fruit rich in vitamin C, a super fruit rich in vitamin C, and a powerhouse antioxidant CoQ10. It's supposed to brighten and even the complexion, reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation while hydrating and softening dull dehydrated skin for visibly enhanced radiance. It also works as a serum booster. So I was excited to give it a try. I started using it really consistently in my skincare routine. Listen, sometimes I feel like skincare is a little bit hard for me to review because I don't have the best skin. I do deal with hormonal acne. I have PCOS. I often have elevated like cortisol levels. I have elevated um, like progesterone levels, things like that. So all of that can kind of come into effect of when it comes to my skin and what my skin is looking like. But sometimes for me, I just get a feel like, and so this sounds really weird to review, but like I just get a feeling if a skincare product is working for me or not. And when I started using this and I started to notice more breakouts and also more breakouts, not in where I get hormonal acne. So normally that's along like my jawline by my mouth, but I was breaking out like up here, like along my cheeks. And like, I have like some scarring right here, like by my cheeks as well. I was breaking out by like the sides of my nose, just in different areas that I don't normally get the hormonal acne. You know what I'm saying? And again, I don't really switch up my skincare a whole lot these days in, tar in like in parts of hoping to help with the acne that I do struggle with. So this was really the only product that was new to my skincare routine at the time. Now there can be a lot of other factors for breakouts, whether it be something like PCOS, whether it be something that you've eaten that doesn't work out for you, be something that you drink, something that you have a sensitivity to, um, environmental factors. I mean, there's so much that can go into it, but this was just something that I got the vibe right away that my skin is not driving with this. I didn't see anything like brightening or I do have dry skin. I wasn't noticing like my skin was becoming more glowy or anything along those lines. And I just kept getting those odd breakouts in places that I don't normally break out. And then once I scaled back on this, then it went back to basically just being like my hormonal acne. Um, but this was just one that I, I, I didn't feel, I didn't feel the vibe. I didn't feel in my soul here that that one was working out for me. So I'm glad that I didn't purchase it for myself because again, I only use this much. I'm sure I can pass this on to somebody who would, you know, get better use out of it. I, again, I don't know with, Cloud, with Glow Recipe, a lot of scent in their products and I do have more sensitive skin. So typically I try to, wait for, try to stay away from something that's super fragrance like that. So I don't know, that one unfortunately was just a miss for me. I have started doing a new, I guess maybe you could call it like a series on my channel, but the way I've been structuring my videos is doing a PR haul, doing a first impression get ready with me, a check-in get ready with me, which is what this particular makeup look is. And then after that, I do a makeup review video and I think I'm calling it collection or rejection. I just saw someone comment that today for like a series title and I really liked it. Like what products that I received in PR do I like well enough to put into my actual makeup collection and what am I going to be decluttering, right? 
So I just posted one of those and I have a couple of products in here um, that I just want to mention because I was trying them that I got in PR um, and just wanted to give like my short reviews on them. Um, again, you can check out that longer video if you want to see those. But one that I mentioned was the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I think this is a nice foundation. It's just one of those that didn't personally work for me because I prefer something more light coverage. Today, I just have on the Salt New York Tinted Balm. I've really been loving like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm. So just something more light coverage. This still has a nice wear time to it. It's a really beautiful natural finish. But for me, because it's more medium to full coverage, I just feel like I'm wearing too much makeup and just don't love the way that I've been looking. So. Once I, I was able to, you know, try it enough times to be able to put into my review video, I really haven't gravitated towards it again because I just don't like feeling like so much makeup on my face and to me that one feels a little bit heavier. But if that's your preference is more coverage, then I think that would be a good foundation for you. Uh, another one that I was trying out is from Ofer Cosmetics and this is their Lavender Haze Powder. This is just one of those that is a really nice brightening under eye powder. But for me and my preferences right now, I'm going more for a loose powder like the Laura Mercier Secret Translucent Powder. And I really like a powder that I can use on my under eyes and also all over my face. With a brightening powder, I don't necessarily wanna be putting it all over my whole face. Again, because I do struggle with acne, I don't necessarily wanna be brightening those spots or highlighting those spots. So this is one that didn't really work out for me for that. Again, just going for my loose powders more, but if you're looking for a good under eye brightener powder, this would be a nice option for you. And I do have a discount code with Ofra, and that is Samantha. I think I'm gonna end it with lips because I have quite a few lip products and I have quite a few things that I wanna say about these lip products, okay? So I'm um, jumping into an eye product. This one here is from Kaja Beauty and this is their uh, eyeshadow and glitter multi stick the wink dazzle these i do think are a nice product again it's just one of those that if i would have spent my own money on it i would have been like okay i don't really get a ton of use out of these like i would hope that i'm going to i do like that they have this dual factor to them so you have on one side where you untwist it and you have like the glitter poof over there and then on the other side is kind of like your you know traditional eyeshadow stick so what i typically do is i take the eyeshadow stick side run it all over my lids then i take the glitter side and i pat it on it's pretty quick and simple you know i really like one eyeshadow looks today i just have on one eyeshadow from cleona cosmetics i'm really into quick and easy eyeshadow looks and i've been kind of reaching for the single shadows or the shadow sticks i still use the one from rare beauty quite a bit um, and i think that those are really beautiful my only like real complaint with these is the glitter side so you can't just like go like this and you get more glitter out you have to like wind it every single time and then unwind it in order to be able to get the glitter out it's such a small thing but to me it just makes it a little bit more time consuming and i'm like oh, i just wish it was a little bit quicker and then for the shadow stick side it's pretty but I, I i've tried a couple of different shades of these and i tend to wish that they just had a little bit more oomph to them sometimes they're just so soft which you know, every once in a while, that's something that I, I don't want to have it also look like I'm wearing like a ton of eyeshadow. I just want like a little something on my eyes. But I tend to find with all of the shades that I've tried, I'm like, oh, if there was just like a little bit more, like a little bit more. Like, for example, this one is in, uh, does it tell me what shade this is? This is in Mauve Mirage. So there is the shadow stick side. So do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty, but it's still, it's just a little bit like, I wish it was a little bit more. And then we have the glitter side it's pretty but again it's just one of those I, I just i wish it had a little bit more oomph to each of the sides i wish the glitter side was a little bit easier to get the glitter out so i feel like it takes me a little bit longer with these they're still pretty they're still products that i use and i think that they're nice um i've been thinking about what i'm packing to barbados and i'm like i don't know like i could put something like this in there but then i also feel like the rare beauty kind of gives me the whole pizzazz right away like they're still probably my favorite shadow stick i guess i would say is going to be the ones from rare beauty they're opaque they're pigmented if the if there's ones that have like the sparkle and shine to them they kind of show through right away so i would recommend those over the ones from kaja beauty so yeah these are nice just not a, a personal favorite of mine next up i have a cream blush and this is from ColourPop cosmetics this is in adore you it's a lip and cheek balm again it's not a bad product um i i will say that i have been going for powder bronzers and blushes up until very recently i feel like after i went to new orleans with creators and friends events and i got these from salt new york 
the uh, tinted balm, the concealer, and then the bronzer and blush. I've been going into these cream products a lot. I also recently reviewed the LYS cream blush stick and I really like this one too. So I've been kind of gravitating, gravitating towards creams a little bit. And this one from ColourPop, it's again, it's not a bad product. It's just, I feel like I would rather go into the LYS or the Salt New York. Um, Pixie Beauty came out with a like blush, like balm stick recently. It kind of reminds me packaging wise of the Anastasia Beauty Balm. And I really like that one. This one from ColourPop, it's still pretty. Um, you know, it still shows nicely on the skin. It's a fun pink color, but it's just not one of those that I keep reaching for. I also, I don't love the packaging on these. I feel like they're a little bit harder to open. Again, it's such a small thing. It's such a small thing, but sometimes they're a little bit harder to open. But again, it's a more affordable cream blush option if that's something that you're looking for. I do have a discount code with ColourPop. It's March Beauty. Again, just not a personal favorite of mine. Okay, and then I think we just have lip products to finish off with. Okay. Okay, so let's start. I'll start with two that I had in my review video um, that I did recently, and these are from Hard Candy, the collaboration with uh, Girl Scouts. So for their lip velvet, their velvety smooth lip marker, this one is is one that I said to me. It just is like too slippery. Um, it, I feel like it kind of moves around a lot. If I try to use it to line my lips, I feel like the lip liner kind of moves and transfers a little bit more. It's also more of a satin finish, and I prefer either a matte lip or like a gloss or an oil. So this. Kind Kind of in between satiny like it's just it's just not really working for me um this one is in the shade truffles and you know it's a nice nude brown also it, it, this particular shade pulls a little bit more orange which sometimes i feel like makes your teeth look not as white so i just it just wasn't a favorite from the first impression that i did i was like i don't think i'm gonna love this one and I just really could never get into it and then we also have the lip oil. So like I said, I am a lip oil fan. The Sigma Beauty lip oils continue to be a favorite of mine. Um, and this one to me, it's like fine. You know what I said in my review video is like, it's just a clear lip oil. And the, the, to me, there's just, there's nothing really like super special about it. Like it feels fine on the lips. It makes my lips look glossy. But to me, there's nothing that I'm like, ooh, that lip oil, ooh, that lip oil. And I've actually been seeing these get really positive reviews online. And again, like I said, I don't, I don't think they're a bad lip oil by any means, and they're also more affordable. So if you're looking for just, you know, a lip oil to throw into your makeup collection, this could be a good option for you. They all kind of have like the the smell of whatever cookie they're named after. What is this one? This one is um, coconut caramel. So you kind of have that like coconutty smell with this one. I like the smell of the Thin Mints one. Again, it's just. It's just not like a standout product to me, so it's one that I'm glad that I didn't purchase for myself. Next up, okay, I have two drugstore and then high end. Maybe we'll keep the plumping, we'll keep the plumping last, okay? Because I have some questions for you guys. But uh, next up, I wanna talk about these ones from CoverGirl, and these are their Outlast lip stains right? Yeah. Outlast lip stain. So they sent me a whole, like I, I, I think I got sent like the whole line of these from CoverGirl. And I will say when I first did it, I really thought that I was going to like these. So I actually did a lip wear test video and I was going to like a really crazy dinner in Las Vegas. We had a $2,000 seafood tower. It was bananas. And I was like, I should see how this lip stain holds up through all of this food I'm about to eat. Because I knew it was about to be a lot of food. Listen, it's $2,000 worth, okay? Like, I was like, I know I'm about to be eating a lot of food. I mean, it was for like eight of us. But, like, I had everything. The seafood tower had like king crab, like a lobster bisque, oysters, calamari. Then they brought us pizza. They brought us... Brussels sprouts, my favorite. They brought us chicken parm, my other favorite. Then they took us over to another place and we got to make s'mores and we had s'mores. Like I put this lip stain through the test, okay? And I have a shorts video up of, of it. And I thought that it did a pretty good job. Um, I said in the review video that I felt like it wasn't as even. And like for me, for a lip stain, when it wears off, it's like, I almost want to say like a your lips with better. It's like your lips still have color to them. They still have something there. But for this lip stain, I felt like it was kind of wearing off in a way that I didn't expect from a lip stain. But I was like, you know what? Like I'll keep trying them. Maybe I won't put it under such intense conditions, but I'll keep trying them. I tried one the other day. I want to say it was the shade natural blush that I tried the other day. So it really like it looks more like a marker. And then when I put it on, so this one is natural blush. To me, it was just like 
so streaky like i felt like i couldn't like i was it literally feels like you're taking a marker to your lips and i was like i felt like i just i couldn't get it even i felt like it looked streaky and i was like what and i went over to ashley's and she was like oh i like your lip product because it was a darker lip and I, I don't wear darker lips all that often as i'm wearing a darker lip today but i don't wear darker lips all that often i've been doing more bold lips like berry pinks and reds so i come over with this like more dark gothic lip look on and she was like oh i like their lip products and i was like really i was like i feel like my lipstick looks streaky and she comes over and she was like oh yeah I, I can see what you're saying and i'm like okay and you know i'm watching it through the night and it just i don't know there, there's a video which video did i do was it my latest review video maybe that i had it on there and i was a little bit self-conscious that whole video i was like people are gonna be like your lipstick looks terrible and i'm like oh, i know i'm trying to review products for you but i just i i feel as though it's streaky. I can't get it to look even on my lips. I've tried a handful of the shades now. Um, I've tried some of the bolder ones. I've tried some of the lighter shades. And then I tried that natural blush. And they're just not my favorite. And I, for me, for a lip stain, I just want to put it on and then like have it wear down and then just like not move. Like even when I was kissing my hand after putting this on, I was still getting transfer on my hand. And I was like, I thought this was a lip stain. Like, aren't you supposed to be staining my lips and not going anywhere? But it was still transferring off of me. So unfortunately, these these are a miss for me. I really wanted to like them because I don't mind a lip stain. Like something that's gonna stain my lips, especially, you know, warmer weather. If I'm gonna be going to the pool, like to be able to put on one lip product and have it like stay and stay, like I would have been all about that life, but I just can't recommend those from CoverGirl. Lastly, let's talk about some plumping glosses because I posted on my Instagram stories the other day a photo of me with my lips in the photo because they're attached to me. And I just said, are y'all for real for real when you say that you like plumping glosses because like my lips have been going through it trying to review these products, right? And it's like, you know, this is the sacrifice that I make for you. I'm looking at you. This is the sacrifice I make for you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I have been trying out these plumping glosses and my lips feel like they are going to just fall off at any given moment. I just can't do plumping glosses and I knew this. I knew this from back in the day. I have told this story on the internet. I know I have. But the Too Faced like lip injections, those were my first like... I never want to do this again type of lip product okay what's that i should do that trend i should do that trend right now hold on i'm putting it in my notes i should do that trend um the like you wouldn't last in the asylum last in the asylum where they made me and it's it's i just want to show a picture of the Too faced lip injection because when i first tried that gloss i was so excited because it was back in the day when i was like you know starting youtube and starting to get into the beauty community and i was like starting to build this collection and you know i, I have this product from Too faced i used to be a Too faced product reviewer back in the day like way back in the day when i had my blog like before i had youtube i was like one of Too faced like beta testers <laughs> which is like i know i've told that story a couple of times but it's always like so funny for me to think back on that time because i took that job very seriously let me tell you i was so excited because they kept sending me products even after i was no longer like working as their like product tester anymore. And um, I get sent this lip injection and I put it on and I'm so excited and then my lips start burning and burning. And I'm like, I, like, I, like, I got tears in my eyes. I was, I was like, what's going on? The ends of my hair feel like they're on fire. I'm like, what? And I was leaving um, to go bring my, my now ex-husband lunch but I stopped at a fine dining establishment who remembers the story. Where did I go? I went to Burger King and I got us Burger King and then we went to eat it in like the parking lot of his work. And I was literally like choking on my burger because there was so much like numbing happening in my mouth and my lips and my throat. And I was like, what is this? And it was like getting on my burger. And then I was, I, plumping glosses are not for me. I think is the moral of the story. But for some reason, I got these and I was like, let's just try them out. Maybe they'll work out for me. So first up we have from NYX and this is their Duck Plump. Now, randomly enough, I got this at like a Super Bowl event that was here. We went to a Jack Harlow concert and it was sponsored by like Revolve, Taco Bell. There was people with tacos just walking around. I was like, yes, please, oh, Crunch Wrap Supreme for me, thanks. And then also NYX Cosmetics. And so they had girls walking around giving out these glosses. So my friend came up to me at one point and was like, oh, they're passing out these lip glosses and I thought of you. And I was like, oh. Thank you so much. So I got this duck plump gloss and this is in brown of applause. Brown of applause is the, oh, why am I putting this on my hand? On oh, my hands, oh man. Okay, well better than putting it on my lips. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of like a brown orangey gloss. It smells 
like when I first put this on, it was like cinnamon and like cayenne and I was like, Ooh, I'm about to be in for it, aren't I? I'm about to be in for it. And I put it on and it was like, it was the Too Faced all over again. I, I, about, I about went to Burger King. I about went to go get me a chicken sandwich and some fries from Burger King because I was like, this is happening all over again. My lips were like, they were like red. Like this is like brown. And I swear to you, my lips were like about to start bleeding. I was like, who is wearing this? How do y'all do it? How do y'all do it? Tell me your secrets. Do you, what, do you ice your lips beforehand? What do you do? Because I don't know how to wear a plumping gloss and not want to cry. And then I, I actually, I wore it again the other night because listen, I tried this back in like February and I was like, I can't put that on my lips again. And then I was like, maybe you could review it and maybe you could not be such a baby. Get it together and put it back on your lips. And then I did and I was like, oh my gosh. And then last night I was like, I want to put this in my review video, but I really want to try it one more time. So I put it on right before I went to dinner. So then guess what? I'm choking on my nudes while I'm trying to eat my dinner, my noodle. I make myself laugh at this point. I'm like delirious because I've been filming all day. But seriously, I'm like literally choking on my Chinese noodles while I'm trying because, while I'm trying to eat because this is burning my throat. It's burning. It's just, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. And I even said to my friends, I was like, I'm trying this plump and gloss one last time. And she goes, your lips do look irritated was the word she used i was like so duck plump is not for me it's not for me it's not for me and then the last glosses that i have are from my good friend shar shar these are the pillow talk big limp <laughs> big lip plump gasm glosses from charlotte tilbury so i got two shades sent to me in pr i think it's like pillow talk and pillow talk light or something like that Pillow Talk Fair Medium and Pillow Talk Medium Deep. I swear, the Charlotte team has to just be like, wow, I don't even have to work because we just name everything Pillow Talk. Like, they don't have to come up with cutesy names. I really love that for them. First of all, I love the packaging on these. These are, like, luxe, beautiful packaging. I love the pink. I love that we have, like, the little sheer window here so you can see what the product looks like. And then we have your fair light or fair medium i don't know the lighter one and then the darker one they're both pillow talk right these burn the shit out of my lips as well like i i don't know man i like I, I put them on for the first time and i was doing a first impression video and i was like okay because it's just like immediately it starts happening and i'm like okay all right that's a lot and i put the video on instagram and i started to get so many comments and it was funny because i was getting so many comments from other content creators that were like I can't handle this gloss. Like my throat was on fire, my throat was numb, my lips were numb, my eyes were watering, and I was like, so it's not just me that can't handle plumping glosses, but like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I saw a lot of like lip swatching videos come out of these, and I will say, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. If you can power through it, if you are stronger than me and you are stronger than my little baby lips, Go for it, like, cause they're they're super pretty. I actually use the darker one more than I use the lighter one. I think that one is so pretty, and they do. They make the the lips look like glossy and juicy, and they're very pretty. They just burn my lips. I don't know. So these are ones that, like, honestly, <laughs> I do kind of want to keep a shade of them, even though, like, I'm I, I can't I can't keep the NYX. The NYX is much more burning much more burning than the Charlotte. But I'm like, maybe I could keep one of the Charlottes and if I'm ever like in the mood to have my lips tingle off, uh, I could wear one of these. But it's one of those, like I'm glad that I didn't buy myself uh, because it's not a product that I'm going to be reaching for a lot. And I love Charlotte Tilbury lip products. Her Matte Revolution Lip Formula, I think is great. I actually have one right in front of me in Hollywood Vixen. I love her lip liners. Some of my all time favorite lip liners are from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's just the, it's just the plumping glosses. It's a reason why I love the Lawless Beauty lip glosses is because they're plumping without, to me, they have no tingle to them. I have heard a couple people say they feel tingles with them. I feel absolutely nothing with the Lawless Beauty. And that's why I love those glosses so much. I continue to recommend them. I've gone through those glosses. So if you want a good plumping gloss without feeling like you're going to numb your entire face and your throat if you try to eat with it on, check out the ones from Lawless. But the Charlotte was just, it was a little bit hard for me as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the products that I should not have bought. And I'm glad that I did not buy my PR reviews. I hope you found this helpful. Maybe you laughed a little bit. I'll see you in the next one.